Good morning, California. We got a nice view of a billboard over there. Constantly changing. All these different options going on. Watch, it's about to change in a sec. See, look, now we got a new ad. Nice old dirt park right here. <laughs> it is currently like 7.45 in the morning here. I've been up since like 5.45, which is really for me, like that, that's New York time, 8.45. These times are funny because like I technically went to bed at like 9.30 here this time like, like last night. And oh, look at the plane. I mean, we do got a cool view of the planes. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It looks like it's about to go right into the cloud. So like last night I went to bed at like 9.30 p.m. this time here, but that's really technically like 12.30 New York time, and I was up at 3.45 New York time, so I was up for almost 24 hours straight. <laughs> so I was really tired. But because, then you know, I slept for like, what is it, eight and a half hours, and now I'm awake and I've been, you know, got up and spoke to Jamie on the phone for a little, did some stuff, you know, did my devotional. Now I'm about to go for a run. I have a meeting um, with Jordan Powers at 10 o'clock. Uh, so I'm gonna go for probably like a four, it's cold here. I wanna go for like a run in four miles for like or something like that. It's like 40 degrees. <laughs> That's not that warm. <laughs> and I only brought one sweatshirt. So like I need like, I think I need to buy a sweatshirt here or something like that. Cause it's, Kinda cold. You guys wanna hear something hysterical? I couldn't bring a carry-on, like they weren't allowing the carry-on bag. I tried fitting everything in the backpack and there was it was no, it was huge. There was no way. I wasn't sure if they were gonna let it on the plane. So I decided, okay, let me look into how much a call it would cost to check a bag. And it was only thirty-five dollars. Like of course, like of course I would have rather not paid anything, but it was thirty-five dollars isn't crazy. Because of that, now I, I was able to bring a bag and I only had clothes for four days that needed to go in it. The reason I was kinda packed in the backpack is I wanted to bring some recording gear, like I brought, you know, like a audio interface and a microphone and headphones and stuff, but I had so much extra now room, I was able to bring all this ridiculous stuff. Like, I brought my foam roller. <laughs> I brought my steamer so I could steam and, and, you know, prepare my voice. I brought two pounds of coffee that I could give the people on the wish bus. I brought a little bottle of whiskey. I brought a humidifier that's currently being used. So like, I have all this now extra stuff. Like, this is phenomenal. All the stuff that I would have like wanted to bring but wasn't able to, I brought it. So now, do a little roll action. All right, ladies and gents, we are on our way out today. It is 9.33 a.m. Went for a three and a half mile run back, ready to go. Now I'm on my way to, I think it's called the Silver Lake area of California. I am going and meeting somebody I had on the channel who is now a friend named Jordan Powers. And this Silver Lake, it's called La Mille. La Mille, 11 miles from here, let's go. Man, I was gonna be on time, now LA traffic making me late. It was supposed to be take 23 minutes, now it's taking 35. What happened? What happened, guys? So yesterday was kind of chilly in LA. Today it's much nicer. It's actually pretty beautiful right now. Look at this car though, guys. This car is, I think this one might be nicer than the last one. Look at that. Look at that car. I think we should do a car concert with this car. Also, I was wrong about this car. Apparently, it does actually have Apple CarPlay. Hey, where'd it go? There it does, beautiful. Yo, the LA traffic did me real dirty, man. Added 13 minutes to my ETA. Which like it was it was a 22 minute drive now it's a 35 minute drive, LA traffic that ain't cool. Now I'm 15 minutes late. Not cool. You know what? I used to hear this saying all the time, and it, it actually proves true here. The saying goes, if you're on time, you're late, and how you should really be, you know, a little early to everywhere you go. So this is the perfect example of that being true. Hey Siri, call Jordan Powers. Calling Jordan. I just passed the location. I'm just trying to find like a place to. Oh wait, I think I found a place. I'm a park now. Never mind. Then look at that. Shoot, this dude just took that spot. All right, what a good time hanging out with Jordan. Like literally an actual blast. Having so much fun talking about just the music industry and hearing where she is and what she's up to. But just talking LA culture and like helping me understand LA culture and how to navigate it because it's so different than New York. And now I'm on my way to um, meet Ben. Ben Hausdorf, Hausdo, Hausdorf, Hausdorf, Hausdo. I forget how to pronounce it because it's not how you expect it to. But my stomach is killing me right now. I foolishly should not have done this. Foolishly took vitamins on an empty stomach and now a couple hours ago and my stomach hurts so bad right now. Like nine out of 10 pain. Oh, I just saw that there's a 7-Eleven so I'm gonna try to get a banana, um, but I am in so much pain. On an interesting note, the place, is, the place that I'm in right now has this very, South America vibe to it, like, like, it's very interesting, like, 
houses on the hill, very unique color buildings and houses like this a super yellow building right here and the red building and blue doors. It's very interesting. It's a cool cool little cool cool area. It just very much reminds me of like South America. All right, I got myself two bananas and the water. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh, I had two little handfuls of nuts. I thought it'd be fine, but I'm in so much pain. It's absurd. Just shoving them down, honestly. I mean, I guess it also doesn't help the fact that, like, it's 12 or 12 15 here. I'm not still in New York time, like, I'm in LA, but, you know, I've been here for, like, literally 24 hours, so my body still thinks it's, like, really technically 3 p.m., and all I've had today before these two bananas was, like, a croissant. Oh, my stomach. Like a croissant and two handfuls of nuts. So, there's that, too. The stupid vitamins. And I went for a run, too. I'm about to go back into 7-Eleven and get like a big bag of peanuts or something like that. I don't know, I need I need stuff in my stomach. It hurts so bad. Oh, okay. I just got some more peanuts. Hey, uh, planters, if you want to uh, sponsor this video, you let me know. <laughs> On a Friday in October, I told her I'd come over. I need to tell her how I feel. On the surface, I look nervous. <laughs> Because deep down, I know she's worth it. I need to tell her how I feel. It's practicing my songs, not necessarily singing them, but really trying to get the emotion behind it. Because that's what I, between that and the breathing. So I'm, I'm saying them in ways that I would like sing them, but like with the emotion behind it and making sure I'm breathing properly to continually train my brain and my body to breathe at the right spots. Whoa, look at this accident, you guys. Must have just happened, this is crazy. All right, so we just got to the restaurant where we're meeting Ben. Thank God my stomach is starting to feel better. Thank God. All right, so I just wrapped up uh, lunch with Ben. Really, really cool, really cool guy. I, he's a cool guy, man. Like, let me tell you, like, I really enjoyed it. We had some really great conversation and, like, hung out for a while, like two hours, over two hours. A little, yeah, about two hours. Um, when I FaceTime my friend, my friend Anthony, uh, this morning, um, because it's his daughter's birthday tomorrow and I wanted to wish him a happy birthday because they were having some friends over like Jamie was over this morning um, celebrating the birthday and I was really bummed that I like had to miss that I mean I care a lot about their kids and their family and stuff like this some of my closest friends so I FaceTimed them to wish her a little happy birthday she thinks she turned five right they're like oh your beard's looking mighty mighty nice Anthony has always had a great beard so he was giving me feedback he's like maybe you honestly like because he was like don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it for a while. And he's like, you want to wait until it's a certain length until you touch it to, so you can actually trim it, you can actually shape it. And he's like, I think it might be at the point now where you can actually shape it. I was driving to a coffee shop because I want to get some work done, maybe edit a vlog or two, um, schedule some videos or something like that. I asked the barber, I was like, you know what, let me see if I can go in and see what they charge for. I mean, I'm sticking in like the Beverly Hills area. The place that I'm in is still considered Beverly Hills, 90211 instead of 90210. So it's like literally like, Right here from Beverly Hills. If it's not like $50, <laughs> I would consider getting it trimmed. Uh, even Jamie was saying that it, it was looking a little scruffy this morning. So I don't know what that means. I've never, I've never trimmed my beard like that, like shaped it. Like I've always just one number the whole time. I usually go like a number one, extended number one, you know, the whole time. Now to actually shape it, I don't know what that would even look like. Are you guys on uh, social media? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crispy Fletcher Barbershop. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know exactly. <laughs> So what do you think we should do? You think we should just take in the sides? Yeah, the sides will be perfect, man. I think we should just uh, take up the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, thank you. What's your name again? Jacob. Jacob, Francisco, right? Francisco, thank you so much, man. Yeah, man, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. See you later. All right, what do you guys think? How's the beard look? I actually really like this, man. This is kind of cool. They did a good job, man. They cleaned it up really nicely. I think this actually looked pretty sick. You want to know a little secret, though? This is funny. So, <laughs> they, a little the behind the scenes. I'm driving down the road after meeting Ben. And I'm like looking for a coffee shop so I could do a little work, edit some videos. And I, <laughs> this is funny. 
I literally just passed a random barber shop and I was like, you know what? I really need to trim the beard. It's getting pretty wild. Last well, screw it. Let's just go in and see. So I turn around, pull a Yui, and I turn around and I go in to see, you know, can I get a cut? You know, is it going to be crazy expensive or is it going to be cheap? I don't know. So I asked for like the prices, relatively fine prices. I, so we do it, we do the whole thing. The guy does a really good job. And at the end, he's like, oh, what are you, a photographer or something? Bro, this camera, the lens and everything, always brings up questions. I love it, because it's a cool opportunity to talk. It's like, oh, you're a photographer? I'm like, no, I'm actually a musician, but YouTube is paying the bills. That's my line. People like, like that line, it starts a conversation. Oh, really? You know, that's really cool kind of thing. Like, it's cool that you're doing what you like. And he's like, hey, you know, next time you're in, like, let me know, like, we'll, uh, we'll film a video. I'm like, Hey, if you want, we can film it right now kind of thing. What you saw right now, a little secret. That was fake. We already trimmed my beard. He was he was acting right there. We were pretending. <laughs> oh, look at this. I stumbled across the UCLA campus somehow. <laughs> kind of cool. I don't know where I am, but this is UCLA. Yo, I'm like straight up on the campus now, like full on college mode. I don't know how I got here, but... <laughs> This is kind of cool. Yo, I think this is like prospect weekend. There's all these random people with like gifts and wearing merch. This is hysterical. I think there's a UCLA basketball game tonight. Cause look at this wild line to get in. There's like hundreds of people online here. This is crazy. About to find out. Excuse me? I'm like editing some videos here on the UCLA campus. We're watching Roy's magic live stream. Shout out to DJ Tempo who is also in this chat. Look at this UCLA frat party going on right now. This is crazy. Oh wow, look at this. So all the frat houses are in a row over here. Look at that. That is really interesting. Yo, somebody's gonna help a brother out. 13 minutes to upload a 10 minute video on YouTube. Yo, hotels, bro. You gotta help me out. Yo, what is up with this? Look at this, look at this, guys. So, I am trying to grow out my beard, and I got my beard trimmed for the first time ever today. I usually just go one, one length trim on my beard. Like, I've never really tried to grow out the beard, so it's always just been one length. I usually lose a buzzer. But I'm trying to grow it out, just trying to test it, and it was getting wildly poofy, so people were like, hey, consider getting it trimmed. So I ended up going to finding a random barber, and he kind of trimmed it down a little, did some stragglers. Now that I'm like looking up close, I feel like he could have done a better blending job. But like he like jacked up my neck, man. Look at the red lines, man. It hurts. Part of me wants to shave these little like black hairs down here, but I haven't shaved down here in 10 years. I don't really want to start. <laughs> it hurts. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks pretty good, but I feel like he could have did a better job now that I'm like looking up close. But then again, who else is going to be looking up like that close? Right? I mean, not many people. 